Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty Weather 2020 video. This is uh, Thursday, so we're cruising right on through the work week. We've had kind of a wild ride weather-wise uh, all week long. Of course, we had record highs Tuesday, and then uh, we dropped 62 degrees yesterday, which was crazy. And then now we're starting to work back up. Uh, today, we're going to talk a little bit La Nina and El Nino. And of course, we got a wave which is rotating through tonight. And then we're going to look into the weekend. And then uh, our next storm says, well, we'll do some long range forecasting as well. All right, first off, huge shout out to my boy Superior Roofing and Construction, a four state premier roofing contractor. They are family owned, located Joplin, Missouri, 7th and High Street. Uh, Vibe Hair goes out of there as well. Uh, they did my rough about a year and a half ago. Of course, we're heading into severe weather season. Uh, hail, wind, hopefully not tornadoes. Um, so we're going to be, so of course, if you have roughing needs, make sure you give them a shout. The number is right there on the screen. Also with Weather 2020, we have a cool product that is coming down. It's right down the pike. Uh, it's a six-month forecast. So what is cool about this is you can go anywhere in the world. So a little interactive map. And then you get like a calendar forecast. Highs, lows, when it's going to rain, when it's going to snow. Um, but you can plug it in anywhere in the world because it takes the LRC pattern, the pattern Gary Lezak and I have been working on for decades, and it plugs it into that program, and then it puts out the long-range forecast. So that's pretty cool. So we got that coming right down the pike as well. All right, so let's jump into this. Uh, this year we're in an El Nino. Uh, so first off, La Nina, it's the cooling of the ocean waters kind of off the equator. It typically pushes the jet stream a little bit farther north so in winter we have a higher percentage usually of getting those kind of polar vortexes which we did get one of those uh this past year so we have three years of la nina 20 21 21 22 22 23 this year's been an el nino which is the warming of the ocean waters and it ships that jet stream a little bit farther toward the south um so these don't really control our weather. They influence the pattern. So uh, it's just something we use that we know how it's going to influence the pattern. But still, it's the LRC pattern that uh, really kind of breaks down what we are going to get. Now, I have had a lot of questions because now the ocean waters are starting to cool a little bit. So we're most likely going to switch from an El Nino back to a La Nina uh, midsummer or so. Uh, will that affect the summer? No, it will not. Um, it's drought, rainfall, all that. It just depends on the pattern. Um, but it's interesting to watch. All right, guys, so let's jump into this. Let's see what we're going to get as we go through the next several days. Look at this little storm system, little way building down through Oklahoma, parts of Texas. You can see some showers, even a little bit of snow, which has been mixing in. This is a very weak wave. But it is headed toward us, and you can see some rain starting to build Oklahoma City. In fact, let me stop this here. We'll go to now. And this is working off toward the north and to the east. So we got rain from Ponca City, Oklahoma City, Wichita Falls, Lawton, and then all the way back through western parts of Arkansas. So this is going to lift northeast. It will. It's going to weaken as it does, but it's going to put some light showers into northeast Oklahoma, southeast Kansas, southwest Missouri, northwest Arkansas, and then kind of push all the way through St. Louis later on tonight and then into tomorrow morning. But it's going to be fairly light, and there could be a little bit of snow trying to mix in, a little bit of sleet trying to mix in. So let's go through time. Here's 7 p.m. Clouds increase, showers increase uh, from Tulsa, moving out of Oklahoma City, picking up in Joplin, Springfield. Again, very light, very scattered. As we go through the overnight hours, here's 1.30 in the morning, light showers from Kansas City, Joplin, Springfield. You can see a little pink trying to mix in, so that, that could be a little bit of sleet trying to mix in, but again, or a few snowflakes, uh, but not a huge deal. As we continue into Friday morning, all this is now pushing into Illinois, Indiana, into the Ohio River Valley, and all of us, we are looking pretty good. Friday, not a bad day. Southerly winds return. Look at this. Temperatures uh, near 60. Kansas City, Joplin, 64. Oak City, Dodge City, up to about 60. 
8 degrees. As we continue into the weekend, I can't believe it's almost the weekend, thankfully. I'm looking forward to it, and we're going to have a fantastic one. Look at the 70s returning, mid-70s across the region. The winds are really going to start picking up ahead of our next storm system. Uh, so this is going to be especially on Sunday. So let's look at the upper level pattern here. Here's this weak wave now. As we continue through the weekend, we get this nice ridge of high pressure. You can see a big storm system developing the western third of the country. So Saturday's good. Sunday's good. But look how most of the energy shoots across the northern plain. So here's Monday. This could produce some showers and thunderstorms uh, from parts of Iowa, eastern Kansas, all the way down through central parts of Oklahoma. And this does fit the pattern. But uh, again, most of the energy is going to go across the northern plains with this next storm system. This storm system rotates through. We have a weak wave. Here's Wednesday, next Wednesday, trying to kind of push through, giving us some random showers. Look how this stronger storm system kicks out next Friday. This system most likely will produce severe weather next Friday, Saturday, uh, the southern plains, and then working into the southeastern parts of the U.S. So the pattern does pick up a little bit as we go into the next week or so. All right, system breakdown. Okay, remember yellow days are well above average. Uh, gray days are pretty pretty close to normal. Blue days are below average. So we'll start with tomorrow, March 1st. Can you believe that? So the March 1st, meteorologically, that is the beginning of spring. All right, so look at the warmer temperatures Saturday, Sunday, those thunderstorms with that next system on Monday. So we'll keep our eyes on that. And then showers Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and may get some thunderstorms again next Saturday. That was the system we were just talking about. All right, the second full week of March looks pretty average. We are watching a system on the 13th and 14th that could give us some thunderstorms and then cooling down as we head into that weekend, so the 15th and 16th. The third week overall looks pretty good. We're dry Sunday through Wednesday, some showers on the 21st and 22nd, but also warming up for that week in the 23rd and the 24th. Thunderstorms again on the 25th and 6th, and again on the 28th, and then cooling down right at the end of the month. So a fairly typical March. Now, where we have these cool down days, we can't rule out that we get cold enough to get some snow on the backside of some of these systems. So uh, just because meteorologically we have started spring doesn't mean we can't get a little bit more snow into the region. All right, guys, I'll be at KOAM News 5, 6, 9, and 10 tonight. Um, of course, covering all the local weather here on these videos, we do more regional weather covering um, really the entire Central Plains. Make sure you like and subscribe if you have any comments or questions. Leave them in the comment section below. Hope you guys are having a great Thursday, and we'll chat soon.